PHP Storm 2018.3 is now released. Let's take a look at what's new and improved in this version. PHP Storm 2018.3 brings support for doctoring query language inside the code editor, which lets you compose database queries by referring to your PHP classes and fields names to fetch or update data. To get started, perform a language injection by adding the at lang dql annotation before the injected code piece, and then compose a query. You can also do it in now doc, here doc strings. Simply set the opening now doc, here doc tag to dql, and the dql language will be injected automatically. From inside your query, you can navigate to the referred entities. Inspections and refactorings, like finding usages or renaming a symbol, are also available. Of course, PHP Storm 2018.3 comes with some new refactorings. With the new Replace with Alias refactoring, you can replace the import statements with the ones referring to a class alias. The refactoring will take care of class usages and update them too. If you want to do the exact opposite, the new inline alias refactoring will help you with that. The new Change Class Member Visibility refactoring will let you change the visibility of a class member. It will warn you in case such a change can introduce bugs. In PHP Storm 2018.3, We've made initial setup of many tools and frameworks so much easier. Your composer.json is now the entry point to all of them. Previously, you could declare PHP Mass Detector and PHP Code Sniffer as your project dependencies and install them in one click. In PHP Storm 2018.3, PHP CS Fixer joins the fun. Simply add a line to the required dev section. Then provide the rule set in the script section and click Install. PHP Storm will install the package and enable the PHP CS Fixer Validation Inspection under Editor, Inspections, PHP, Quality Tools in the settings. The tool is set up. You can now proceed with checking your files and fixing the detected issues. The support for PHP Code Sniffer has been enhanced too. Back to our composer.json. Here, you can now add some non-PSR standard, for example, Drupal Coder to the required-dev section, and it will be detected and enabled in the inspection. Since PHP Storm now provides unified support for major quality tools, we've streamlined their settings too. Instead of individual pages for each tool, there's now a single settings page under Languages and Frameworks, PHP, Quality Tools, where you can configure them all. Yet another thing you can do with Composer.json is use it for setting up test frameworks, be it PHP Unit, Codeception, Behat, or PHP Spec. Add the corresponding dependency and put a configuration file under your project root. Then run Composer Install. The frameworks that you specified will be pre-configured automatically. PHP Storm will also automatically create run configurations for you, based on the configuration files. Some enhancements for composing tests are available too. PHP Storm will now let you generate the test, setup, and tear down methods from the generate menu from inside the test class. In PHP Storm 2018.3, you can deploy files to several servers simultaneously. To do this, go to Tools, Deployment, Configuration, and add a server group. Then drag some servers into it. Now you can use this group just as you would use a regular server. And the files that you've chosen to upload will be uploaded to all servers contained in a group. This sums up the major PHP related features in PHP Storm 2018.3, but there are so many more. To learn more, see our blog at blog.jetbrains.com slash phpstorm and download the new version from jetbrains.com slash phpstorm. Thanks for watching!